And I was thinking about the church in America. Uh, Philip, we have, we've went out with precious seed. We've sown that. We've worked at it. You know, we've, yes, we've worked hard at sowing that precious seed. And um, I, I think we're going to return with joy again in the house of God. I believe that. I, I believe that. The, I'm, I'm smiling to myself as you're, as you're quoting that scripture. You quote it in the modern translation, the old way, the, old, <laughs> the King James, which that's what the Apostle Paul spoke was King James. But yeah, the, the know, scripture says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like those mm -hmm. that dreamed and our mouths were yeah. filled with laughter. And what we need filled in America, yeah. what we need in the churches, pastors, listen to me, what you need in your church, you don't need programs. You don't need, and, and, hmm. and there's nothing wrong with programs. And we need the lighting. And we, I, I love all that stuff. I love the effect that it can give and the addition it can make to our church. But I'm telling you now, there is no, here's Simon Cameron talking through me to you today. <laughs> there is no substitute for an infilling of the Holy Ghost. And what yeah, the church amen. desperately needs as we're living. These disciples, when Jesus went, was going back to heaven, and he, and he gathered his disciples, and he says, go back to Jerusalem and wait there. Stay in Jerusalem. He knew. He knew that amongst them was guys that doubted him. There was guys that, that, that cussed rather than be identified. He knew one had sold him for mm -hmm. the price of a slave. And he said, if we mm -hmm. are going to win this world, go back to Jerusalem and wait there until oh, I yes, send God. you the Holy Spirit. And they went back to Jerusalem. I've, I've been in the upper room. And they waited there. And mm -hmm. I'm sure, I know on the day of Pentecost there's 120 people, but I'm sure it started out with many more than that. And they drifted away. The ch the people drift away. But I'm here to tell you, for those that stayed, the Bible says there came a sound from heaven like yes. a mighty rushing wind. Yes. And it sat like tongues of fire mm. on their head and they began yeah. to speak in other tongues and the same Peter that a few days ago was so timid and afraid that a little girl can say aren't you with them the same mm -hmm. Peter changed and transformed by the power of the Holy Ghost goes out and he speaks and 3,000 people were added to the church that first day mm. and what we need is people that can be turned around from timidity from uh, apologizing mm -hmm. well I am but I you know I let me tell you what we need to have is holy boldness in our lives and in our, in our walk today. That we're not a, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it is the power of God unto salvation. And that is what we need, in, not just in the building of the church, but we need that in every single day walk when we're talking to our friends. If you believe yes, something, Lord. people are attracted to you. If you believe nothing, people don't even see you.